rising microgrid family. It's your boy, Dorian Frazier, leptokinetic healer and human activator. Thank you for stopping by. I've been getting a lot of requests to explain my leptokinetic healing process, so let's get right into it. Leptokinetic healing utilizes sheer mental focus as its driving force. It allows the user to manipulate cells, molecules, and the biofield. This is done by using visualization techniques and specific healing intentions to generate an electromagnetic force that is able to induce therapeutic tremors and LPK responses. These tremors and responses can indicate that the accelerated healing process is occurring, that a successful activation has taken place, an increase in cellular voltage, and we can also use them to map out dormant energy pathways, release trauma, and as a guideline to identify areas of electromagnetic resistance. If there is no responses, then the person's system is in a dormant or non-reactive state. The process for reactivation involves raising the cellular voltage, unlocking the nervous system, activating dormant energy pathways, and by correcting how the brain and body are communicating with one another. So where most energy healing modalities focus on letting go, leptokinetic healing utilizes surgical precision, which allows us to work with a wide range of physical anatomy, as well as the more subtle anatomy. Additionally, leptokinetic healing focuses on the physical body more so than the subtle energy body. Because if the physical system is unable to communicate with the subtle systems, then the energy is unable to influence the cells. Therefore, there will be no therapeutic releases or involuntary responses. Although, we still of course work with things like the morphogenetic chakras, the nodule complex, removing energetic seals, karmic clearing, and much more. After we finished chatting for a brief moment, you'll angle your camera to where I can see a good portion of you. Lie down and just enjoy the ride. Try to practice before your session getting the angle right. I always tell people this is sometimes the hardest part of the process. When you finally lie down, it's preferred that you lie on your back. This way, you'll have the least amount of tension in the body, which allows for the optimal energy flow. The less tension, the less resistance. This is supposed to be your space of rest and relaxation, so there is no pressure to perform. Just do your best to breathe and relax and be sure to listen to your body. During the session, I'll be observing how your body is responding while stimulating different areas of the body with bioelectromagnetic currents. These movements that the body makes can lead us to a deeper understanding of your system and what is being stored in it. It is similar to a form of sonar. It's almost like I'm sending out this wave, and when it comes across an area of electromagnetic resistance in the body, it shows up as this type of involuntary stimuli that's saying, hey, I am over here, and please do something about me. So sessions generally go one or two ways. Either we have direct access to your system and you can experience things like irregular breathing patterns, eye fluttering, twitching, therapeutic tremoring, and emotional releases. While you're already in this state, these LPK responses will be easy to elicit. Or there's very little to no movement. And we have to figure out why there's no response occurring. The end goal of this work is to have our clients directly participating in their healing process and developing a relationship with their body's intelligence in their own personal life. Through exploring your bodily tension, becoming familiar with your extrasensory perceptions, and learning to listen to the messages your body is trying to relay, our clients are guided to choices that support their evolution and growth, which fosters freedom in their lives and aligns them with their higher self. So there you have it, Microgrid fam. That is how this process works, and I hope I was able to answer any questions that you might have. If not, feel free to leave a comment below, and I'll see you in the next video. Coolness.